Uh, my name's Patrick Crilly. I'm a part-time research student in the Network and Security Group. Uh, we're looking at body sensor networks. So one of the things is that monitoring health particularly, which is a big area for these networks, is that a couple of things actually. One is that your health data is quite valuable, particularly to something like an insurance company. But more importantly, these networks, you can get feedback into devices such as an ECG machine or an insulin pump. And one of the problems we can see is these devices currently can be hacked, which means a young kid who might be adventurous could actually give you a heart attack or make you have too much insulin. So the two aspects that uh, my team, myself and my colleague are looking at, one is securing the devices, so how we create security as you form these networks, how the information spreading between the networks can be secured. And what he's been looking at is using physiological parameters as the key or the, if we like we say, the password. So rather than people having to manually enter a password or something, and particularly he's been looking at uh, ECG as a way to secure the devices and create a secure network. Uh, my area of interest is more in using smart watches and mobile devices for real-time monitoring of diseases. And one of the things that I've been interested in is because mobile devices are multi-use, you can watch video, you can listen to your songs, you can take phone calls, the effect that monitoring a condition, say for example ECG, has when you're taking a phone call. Because the last thing you want is to have a heart attack missed while you're talking to your father on the phone. There's kind of three big application areas that have been identified. First is home healthcare network or home healthcare monitoring, particularly with an aging population. So we can, rather than having people come in and out of hospital, we can keep them at home and treat them at home. So we can fit them with devices that can monitor blood pressure, ECG, and rather than having to have uh, those signals, well, those signals can then be sent to a remote hospital and they can stay more at home or they can come in and out of their home. Uh, the second big area is disease management. So chronic diseases, we've seen a big rise in chronic diseases. So a lot of these uh, devices can be used then to help manage chronic disease and you can monitor diseases such as diabetes. Uh, heart disease is probably one of the big killers in Australia and throughout the Western world. And the third is fitness and health in general. Uh, one of the advantages we have here at Griffith is that we have a medical school, we also have hospitals. So we can collaborate with these other institutes to achieve better real world outcomes with the chronic disease management and home health monitoring.